Club. And good evening and welcome to the North Country tonight. We're at North Clarion High School as we get set for girls. District 9 quarterfinal action here on EYT. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20, you're with you here this evening as we're rocking and rolling here at, as I said, North Clarion High School, the Earl Light Clinic basketball. We're in the Carly Tire pregame show here on the EYT Media Network. Well, Lexus, last night we had Clarion a winner in their quarterfinal game in boys' action to move on. Uh, they'll take on Johnsonburg next week, and tonight we have uh, Clarion girls getting set to take on North Clarion up here at North Clarion High School. But this one uh, should be a pretty good one between these two. Absolutely. We saw a great game last night from the um, Clarion High School for the boys' side of things. And, you know, I think Clarion girls are coming into this thinking, okay, our boys' team won now. We have to live up to their standards and win our game too. And I'm sure there is some competition between the two of them. You know how that always is in, in schools. And, of course, uh, we have more. And they're going to announce here the North Clarion team for Clarion area. It's Klein, Alston, Sophie Babington, Gia Babington, and Durish. And for North Clarion, let's listen to uh, Bonnie Wolbert with her introduction. So there we go, the introductions, and we're just about ready to go. Very quickly here, I know we don't have a lot of time, Lexus, and I apologize. Uh, what do you think each team needs to do to come out with a win? Let's see how fast I can talk. All right. <laughs> you know, for North Clarion, they'll want to come out strong from the start, of course. We see that often from them, and I have no doubt that we'll see that again tonight. One of the good things that we see with this team is the ability for anybody to score. Of course, they have Homan, who's often the leading scorer, but we also see Ainsley Hardle and Brooks Diamond putting points on the board for them. And, you know, I'm sure we'll see them come out again in their aggressive 2-3 like they played against Carn City in the KSAT game. Um, that'll work in North Clarion's favor, taking away the gaps and making Clarion move the ball around the perimeter. Yep. And as far as Clarion coming tonight, coming into tonight, um, they'll want to take control of the game from the start. That means not only setting the pace of the game to what they want, but also disrupting the flow of North Clarion. It's also important for them to make smart passes and reset it if the opportunity isn't there. Um, being the first team to put the points on the board is also very important for them. All right, great job. You were moving right along there. Missed one sentence, but it's okay. All right, those are <laughs> the Gates and Zotobody keys to the game. It's going to be controlled here by North Clarion Holman with the basketball driving right to the hoop. And that shot's off the mark, and the ball's going to go to Clarion area. First quarter sponsors, Kills Kitchens. Do you want to thank Carly Tire for our pregame show? Very abbreviated, but we're rolling here. You know how internet is, though, depending, and they have, they've had a, a nice setup for us here, but things happen. It's technology. you got to love technology. <laughs> Sure do, and I know today with all the things with cell phones, uh, our kids were going crazy, I know, at school about it. Here's uh, Alston dumping it into Klein. Klein goes up strong, and how about that? Two points for Klein, and they're on the board. See Clarion putting pressure on the defense already. Well, went across the timeline. Right side to Hartle. Cross-court pass up top to Best. Steinman and controlled over there by Homan. To the corner, back up top it goes. Hartle's going to drive. Steinman and Homan. Driving Homan off the bottom of the bank board, and that ball's going to be picked up. Some great by defense by Clarion underneath, you know, taking away that lane from her. Sure is. Babington had the ball in the climb. Back out, Babington to the left side. Shot by Gia Babington on the way up the front of the rim. No good. Fight for the ball. Alston's going to get it. Nope. They're, they're going to get tied up. And we're going to get our first land pro possession arrow. And it will point to Clarion on that held ball. I believe it's Alston was, did great underneath getting her hand on the ball to make it that jump ball underneath. Ball comes into Durish up top to Alston. Now Gia Babington. Bounce pass into Klein. Klein going strong again, but she's going to travel first. 
So 2-0, 636 to go here in this Kale's Kitchen second. Do want to thank uh, Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance Company of Marble. Press being put on. And they're going to break through it. Here's Holman across the timeline. She's very close to carrying that ball, too, as she comes across there. I was watching that. Just a little. Here's Steinman. Back up top to Best. Right side to Hartle. Hartle eyed the three, didn't take it. Spins around. Drives, puts up that shot. Hartle shot no good. Fight for the ball. Who's going to get up and up with it? Durish to Alston. Good hustle by Durish. It was a great hustle. This is a quarterfinal ball game tonight here in the North Country. Stolen away. Here's Hartle. Hartle tries to pass it off, but a foul is going to be called from behind. First foul here in the ball game. It's going to be called on Alston. Also want to thank Best Wealth Management, Muncie Law LLC of Clarion, Clarion Rehabilitation Services, and Bethel Moose Lodge number 366. And also the Eric Schick Agency. There's a travel called on home at that time on the far side. We want to thank Eric Schick, uh, Insurance and Financial Services. It's great work underneath on defense by Gia Babington, I believe, covering home. And you can tell they were trying to get it into her to take that outside shot. All decline at the free throw line. Clarion leads it here 2 nothing. Ball tossed out of bounds. Goes back to North Clarion. Ball comes into Homan, racing. Homan around the defense, took that little Euro step. And the ball's off and rebounded by Gia Babington. Kicks it ahead here to Alston, three on three. Ball dumped down into the paint. Durish puts it up strong and she's gonna be fouled. And that's gonna bring uh, Durish up here to the line. Clarion's defense has been great so far, holding North Clarion scoreless so far. So Durish up at the time or up at the free throw line in free throw line sponsored by Northern Pennsylvania Regional College. Ooh, nails that one, shot on the way and good. Very shy in the second free throw. And nails that one too. Perfect two of two from the line so far. Clarion up here for nothing on North Clarion. Ball to the right side to Steinman. Steinman fakes, driving to the baseline. Steinman kicks it back out. And up top it goes best. Homan, Homan. Right side, Hartle. Two-pointer on the way by Hartle. No good. Rebound by Gia Babington. Here's uh, Sophie Babington shouting orders. Ball to the left side. To Klein. Ball almost knocked away. Klein got it back. Sophie Babington with it. Into Durish. Left side. Alston driving on the baseline. Foul. Does it go? It doesn't. Alston will go to the line to shoot two. Clarion taking it strong to the board. I like it. Their ball movement and creating that open lane for themselves to drive is great right now. So Alston at the line. First shot is up and good. Hastings checking in here for North Clarion. But good by Alston. Clarion perfect from the free throw line. Some pressure put on by uh, the Lady Cats. And the she Bulls will break through it. Homan. To the right side to Hartle. Hartle back up top. That's, uh, that was uh, Kastner. The ball tossed out of bounds. Boy, North Clarion unable to really get into a rhythm here at all. You have to wonder how soon, too, they're going to take a timeout mm -hmm. and kind of try to reset and take control of the game. Clarion so far leads here 6 0, doing a nice job taking the ball strong to the hoop. That ball to Gia Babington. Into the lane, left side. Sophie Babington shot on the way, doesn't go. And that ball's going to be ripped down by Homan. Take it slow up the court and kind of reset and regroup a little bit. Here's Homan to the right side. Homan driving in traffic. Shot good by Homan. So North Clarion will get their first points. And Homan will have a shot at the old time three-point play. Just 
just how quick a game can start to turn around, too. Absolutely. It's what North Clarion needed, too, to get on the board. Uh, good. Uses all of that rim, too. So it's a three-point ball game. Ball tossed over to Alston. Alston driving. Alston puts up the shot in traffic. It's short of the mark. Got a rebound back. Puts it up. No good. Klein with the ball. Puts it up strong. Klein shot. No good. That ball tipped out, tipped out, tipped out. Homan. Homan on on one on Gia Babington. Driving right to the uh, basket. No good. Ball comes out, and a foul is going to be called to push. That was good. Oh. Good hustle by Babington down to get in her way a little bit. I'll be taken out of bounds. The student section here at the North Oregon fired up. And we are going to have our media timeout. 3.33 to go. Here are the first 6-3. North Clarion leads, Clar or Clarion leads North Clarion. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 hoops on the EYT Media Network. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 series on Facebook and Instagram. All right, welcome back here. Shot of the crowd over there. Enjoying the ball game tonight here at North Clarion High School. 6-3 as Clarion leads North Clarion here in the first quarter. Homan trying to win, but she's going to have to hurry. Just gets that ball taken away by um, Alston. Here's Alston right up to the hoop basket. Good. Nice job by Alston. Strong steal and take to the hoop by her. Bring it up by five. Here's Homan. Homan bounce pass underneath. Steinman shot good. Here's Gia Babington. And we get a travel call. We've seen a few of those. So 8-5 to score here. Three-point lead. Can tell they're watching closely on the feet tonight. Just a little. See Sydney Baumkrotz check in for North Clarion. Ball comes in. Hartle's going to bring it down. Hartle picks up that dribble down to the corner. Best down there. Up top, Kastner and then to Steinman. They work it back around. Baumkrotz to the right side to Hartle. Kastner with the ba uh, basketball. Now Steinman. Steinman thought about that three. I see. She, she inched there. She was ready. Well, up top, Kastner with the three-pointer. It's off the mark. Rebound taken away there by Durish. So 2.24, clock rolling here. Clarion still leads by three. Ball into the lane. Gia Babington out to Alston. Alston down into the paint. Durish. Nice drive to the hoop by Durish. Four. Great, great pass and nice shot underneath. Four for Jurish here, and it's a 10-5. See, that would upset Bob. He liked 10-4 better. <laughs> Kessner up top, working the basketball here for North Clarion. Down to the corner to Best. Best comes up to find Hartle, and Alston almost comes up with a big steal. Knocks into Mr. <laughs> Constantino down there. Hall of Famer Dave Constantino, and almost knocked the water over, too. Could you imagine that water coming open all over him right now? <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> he might not have thought so. No. 148 to go here in the first. 10-5. North Clarion with the ball. Hardo works it. Clarion in the 3-2 zone. 
Ball back up top. So they're going man here is what they're doing. They've been in that zone. Homan to the right side to Kastner in the corner. Back into Homan. Homan spins around, shot in the paint, and the foul is going to be called. They're going to get uh, Alston, possibly. Nope. They are going to call that instead on uh, Babington, Gia. So Homan up at the line. And it is a Northern Pennsylvania Regional College, our free throw sponsor. Shot on the way is good. We also saw at one point Lauer check in for Clarion now. Next shot up, good as well. Both teams 100% from the foul line right now. Gia Babington comes back up top to Lauer, back to Babington on the right side. Babington driving down to the baseline, kicks it over to the corner. Lauer's out there, shot on the way. Lauer with the three-pointer from the left side. How about that, 13-7? Quickly, here comes a North Clarion. Back up top, Homan driving into the lane, dumps it down to Steinman. Steinman, big move on that bottom block, shots off the mark. Rebound by Sophie Babington. Some good, strong defense underneath by Clarion right now. Clarion playing well tonight here at North Clarion. Alston. Alston dumps it in. Foul called here on Kastner. And that's just, what, the fourth foul here, third, fourth foul against North Clarion. Second foul on Kastner. Best checks in. You know what Best middle name is? Is the. Is the, yeah. I knew. Yeah, see, I'm, you I'm smart. Yeah, I was wondering if you knew that. <laughs> That's why they have me here. <laughs> Bob's at home just shaking his head. Here's the shot by Gia Babington. It's off the mark. Tipped back, and Holman's going to try to rein that in, but it uh, will go to North Clarion here. Wasn't sure if Holman touched it or not, but she did leave it go. I realized she didn't. 30 seconds. Six point lead for Clarion. That's her biggest of the ball game. Ball up top, ball loose. Who's gonna get it? Fight for that basketball. We're gonna get a Land Pro possession arrow held ball. This time it'll go to North Clarion with 15 seconds. I'll tell you, Alston's all over the place tonight. She's hustling out there, doing great. Sure is, and they're gonna get a couple checking in here. Uh, Deal checks in along with Durish again. Clarion back, not letting that offensive player come around. Homan down to 10 seconds. Tried to pick up that pick driving. Homan spins around. Four seconds. Homan shot. No good. Rebound underneath is by Durish. Stolen back. Homan fouled right at the buzzer. Thank you, Clarion. That's not what you wanted to do, no. especially sending her to the line. So Homan will get a couple free throws with nobody at the line. So here's Homan. She'll have the line all to herself. A couple shots here as we end the first quarter. First shot on the way. It's up, and that's good. Uses all of the rim. Next shot on the way, too. That is up and good by Homan. So Homan brings the North Clarion back within four. We'll take the timeout. We go to quarter number two. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops. It's District 9 playoffs right here on the EYT Media Network. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving.
into action we go. Quarter number two. Bauer-Wagner property second quarter. Ball tipped away, stolen here by North Clarion. They trail by four here in the second. Ball blocked by Alston. Boy, she's been all over the place. She is. Great defensive game so far. Underneath to Best. And lost it out of bounds. It will stay North Clarion ball. Just underway here as we set in the second. Ball comes right in. Caster in the corner. Or was that Best down there? It was. Here's Hoban. So they're going to take their time. They're going to set things up. Clarion still working in this man defense. Steinman with the three-pointer on the way. Rattles the cage, but it doesn't go. Rebound underneath is by uh, Alston. And if you're Clarion right now, why change your defense? It's right. working out for you. Babington to the right side to Alston. Here's Alston top of the key. Babington left side. Sophie now with it. And Alston controls right side, Gia. Ball stolen away by Homan. Here's Homan racing down. Homan shot, no good, but the foul's going to be called here on Gia Babington. And up to the line goes Homan to get a few more shots. That's North Clarion's 2 3 is so pressured that that's what they create as turnovers, and that's evident right there. That shot's good. Homan working on, this will be her seventh shot from the free throw line. Shot's up and good too. And seven of seven she is. The only person I've ever seen seven of seven from the free throw line, Brett English back in 2022. By that look on his face, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, he was 6 to 7. <laughs> Ball into the paint. Here's Klein making a big move. Turns around, takes a shot. Klein, good shot in the paint. Clarion gets back on the board here. It's 15 11. Working the ball best. Kastner down in the bottom corner. Into Steinman. Steinman driving right to the hoop. Steinman basket good. She took that one up strong, looked great. Ball in to Durish, back out it goes to Alston. Alston's been the workhorse. They're gonna pull it out and reset a little bit. Ball into Klein. Klein shot, boy, it was right there. Just can't get it to go. Steinman with the rebound, we'll get a timeout taken by Coach Skip Homan here for North Clarion. See if this is a four or 30. It's a 30 second timeout. Why don't we hold here? We do want to let folks know Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning is our timeout sponsor. 782-3280 is the number to call them. 7-8-2-3280. we have a Zockerl Motor score update from the AAA Girls Championship game. Carn City's up on Brookville, 36 to 20 in the fourth quarter. Well, okay. So. With Iron that City. score, look, I don't know how much time is left in the fourth quarter, but it looks like they kind of yeah. had that championship for them. That's excellent. So, Carn City girls doing well. Do want to thank, too, Eric Schick Insurance Agency in New Bethlehem. Also, for, uh, friends of Donna Oberlander, state representative for the 63rd District, and Clairview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, and Country Springs Personal Care in Sligo. Some of our great sponsors here tonight. Second quarter here is Bauer Wagner Properties, second, Kastner. Works it over to Steinman on the right side. Steinman back up top. Ball was tipped there, but back to Homan. Hartle's going to take the three-pointer. It's off the mark. The rebound by uh, Sophie Babington. It was a great look from Hartle, and you saw Austin over there with the hand in the face, too, on defense. So it's a two-point ball game. Here's Alston. Lost the ball. Picked back up by Durish. Cross-court pass, Babington shot on the way, Sophie Babington no good, rebound Alston, Alston is going to be fouled, shot doesn't go, but Alston will go to the line to shoot a couple. What a way to crash the boards and just get that rebound and go right back up. She said she has really stepped up the ball game tonight. 
Her shot is up and good. Foul's going to be called on Best. That'll be her first. Baumkratz checking back in. Shot on the way, that's good too. Alston also perfect from the free throw line right now. Girls have done a nice job tonight from that uh, charity stripe. Both teams make my heart happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> 4.50 to go here in the quarter. Homan kicks it over to Baumkratz, back up top to Homan. Homan. And she's going to carry that ball. Yeah. Real close each time, but that time trying to change direction. Just a little bit. And sometimes it just gets stuck in your hand, too. And yep. You don't want it to go back down on the floor, but it's just going anyways. See, when I play, we used to use a thing called stick them. You'd spray it on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and it would always be stuck there. Here we go. Here's Homan on the break start. It's Diamond had to steal ahead. Homan, basket good. And it's a two-point game again, 17-15. Lauer, three-pointer on the way. The shot's off the mark. The rebound by Hartle. Hartle ahead to Homan. Here's Homan. Homan to Kastner. Or that's a Hartle, excuse me. Hartle driving into the lane, and Hartle gets the basket. She took that one up nice and strong. Tied at 17 now at North Clarion. Ball into Klein. Klein's been tough inside. Lauer to the right side. Cross-court pass over to Lauer. Lauer, right side to Babington. Bounce pass into Klein. Klein double team, turnaround shot, and it's good. Nice job by Klein. That's her shot. Take one dribble and spin him. Get it in. She has been fantastic in the paint tonight. The Clarion team as a whole really came out and wanted to start this game strong. Yes, they did. Shot taken by Homan, the three-pointer on the way. Homan's going to drain that one. And that'll give North Clarion the lead now, 20-19. to Down to 3 5 to go here in the quarter. Ball into Klein. And Klein is going to travel. And we will have... Should be immediate timeout here. It is 2.58 to go in the second, 20 to 19. North Clarion leads, and you are watching Laurel Lie Clinic, District 9 Hoops. It's all here on the EYT Media Network. The pulse of Western Pennsylvania is in very good hands. It's a system of healthcare whose hospitals have earned some of medicine's most prestigious honors, like the top 10% in the country for specialty cardiac care, a heart surgery program ranked in the top 2% nationwide, and cited as high performing for heart bypass, heart failure, and heart attack. The pulse of Western Pennsylvania is indeed in very good hands at Independence Health System. Expert care here. Back to action we go. 20 to 19 to score here. Ball going to be inbounded here by North Clarion. Looking to take a little more of a lead here. North Clarion. Clarion led most of the way. Here's Steinman. Hartle. Looking for somewhere to go. Finds best in the corner. Back up top to Baumkratz. Baumkratz with the runner. And that shot no good. And the ball rebounded underneath, and that is Alston. Take control of it, get it in the safe hands to bring down the court now. Lauer down to the corner. Babington into Klein. Klein, big move, turn around, jump shot. No good, boy, that was close again. Klein rips it away, and we're going to get a tie-up. Foul's going to be called. Ball be taken out of bounds. 
Caster's going to get called for the foul here. That'll be your third. Gia Babington checking in here for Lauer. You have to wonder if somebody's going to go in for her so she doesn't bring up a fourth on accident or something yep. in the first half. And I think that's you're going to see Homan in. Yep. Babington to inbound. That ball comes into Durish. Durish to the left side to Gia. 12 to go here in this first half. Alston comes it into Klein. Klein's going to be fouled. Good job by Klein. I'll tell you what, playing tough. She's, She's going to go to the game. line. Yes, she has. She'll get a couple shots. And you almost have to wonder, too, sometimes it's not great for the big man underneath, you know, to put the ball down. Oh, they're going to say no shot. Four. All right. Hmm. A little bit surprised, but that the official saw it better than we did. Ball comes in to Gia, down to the corner to Sophie, into the paint. And Alston tried to pass it over to Klein, but taken away by Best. Here's Hartle to the right side. Baumkratz with the ball. Up top to Homan. Here's Best. Let's pass it to Steinman, taken away by Alston. Now it's a foot race. Alston driving right in, stolen back away by Homan. Here we go the other way. Homan puts up that shot in the paint, in and out, no good. Rebound by Steinman. Steinman going to put it up strong. Shot good by Steinman. There's almost no stopping Steinman underneath. She's just strong and puts it right up with muscle. Six points for her. Now a three-point lead for North Clarion. Game starting to pick it up in intensity. Babington back out to Alston. To the right side. Sophie Babington to Gia. To the left side to Alston. Dumps it into Klein. It's a little too long. Picked up by Hartle, and here's Homan. Minute five. Hartle left side down to the corner. Back up top to Baumkratz. And if you're North Clarion right now, there's no reason to force something that's not there. Homan lost the ball out of bounds. Yes, <laughs> you just said it. As I say it, I jinx them, I guess. Yep. You have that lead right now going into half. You just... Right. For them, you don't want to lose it. So 47 seconds. We'll see what Clarion can do. They could tie. Here's Alston. Or, excuse me, Babington over to Gia. Fine at the free throw line. Back to Alston. Alston driving. Dumps it down. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Stays Clarion ball. 33 seconds. Checking in here for North Clarion will be uh, Jaden Reisinger. Ball into Alston. She'll back off, takes her time. North Clarion sitting in that 2-3 zone. Gia Babington kicks it back out to Sophie, right side to Alston. Alston again, threw it just a little too long for Klein. She's tall, but I think her teammates think she might be eight foot tall right now. <laughs> she may want to even switch that up and go for that little bounce pass and right. get it around the defender. Because Klein's there. Oh, absolutely. 15 seconds, North Clarion will try to put the final exclamation point on this uh, first half. When they trailed most of the way, but they have that three-point lead. Homan in the corner, four, three. Ball lost, down to one. Shot at the buzzer is no good. So we go to halftime with North Clarion leading Clarion 22-19. And we'll take a timeout here. It is Laurel Lock Clinic Hoops. The District 9 playoffs are all here on the EYT Media Network. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Reimersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. 
located on Route 66 in Lucinda. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. A division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Are you a therapist who wants to make a difference? Do you want to help children and families who are struggling with serious behavioral problems? MHY Family Services is looking for therapists to join our new multi-systemic therapy psychiatric team. Multi-systemic therapy psychiatric is an evidence-based in-home intensive treatment approach that addresses the multiple factors that contribute to a child's behavioral problems. With this treatment, you could help children and families change their lives for the better. We are looking for passionate therapists to join our team. Apply now and become a part of the supportive and dynamic culture at MHY Family Services. Well, there we go. Good shot of the crowd here at North Clarion tonight. It is a 22-19 lead for North Clarion over Clarion. It is uh, District 9 playoff action. Girls single A tonight quarterfinals here on the EYT Media Network. We are in the first United National Bank, the Fun Bank halftime show. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20 here. Good shooting down there on the court. There we go. It's nice. It's great. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, uh, the Fun Bank, too, great sponsor at North Clarion Athletics here on the EYT. Want to let folks know that, too. And Lexus, time for the Zocro, or excuse me, the Red Bank Chevrolet stats. And how do they stack up here at halftime? Um, you see Clarion, you know, sitting at 19 points. Klein and Alston both have six in the game for them, along with Durish with four points and Lauer with three. Um, and they're six of six from the free throw line right now, which is fantastic. And then for North Clarion, sitting at 22 points, Homan's leading them with 14 points, um, seven of those coming from the free throw line as well. Hartle with two and Steinman with six. Um, and all seven free throws came from Homan, and she's 7-7 seven, seven seven right now. So wow. both teams 100% from the free throw line, which makes my foul shot heart happy. Yep, certainly does. A nice job by both those teams. And want to real quick, too, thank our great extra sponsors that we have on our broadcast tonight. Before we take one more time on here, do want to thank the Eric Schick Insurance Agency and Financial Services of New Bethlehem. Uh, Donna Oberlander, state representative for the 63rd Legislative District that was paid for by friends of Donna Oberlander. Uh, Clairview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center and Country Springs Personal Care in Sligo, PA. Let's say I think I'm going to check that out soon. It sounds relaxing. I mean, that's fine. I can take over play-by-play -play if you need right. me to. Well, we may have to do that. <laughs> Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance Company of Marble, Pennsylvania. Best Wealth Management. Matt Best and all the folks over there. Great folks. Muncie Law LLC of Clarion, PA. Clarion Rehabilitation Services and New Bethlehem Moose Lodge, number 366. Great place down there in New Bethlehem. 22-19, where we are here at halftime. We'll take the time out. 
Got a lot more sponsors to get on, and we'll be back with more for you here from North Clarion High School, and you're watching Laurel Athletic Hoops on EYT. Brookville Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family-oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do, from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. I chose NPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. Are you ready to boost your team spirit? Look no further than shopteamwear.com, your one-stop destination for all your school and team apparel needs. We've got you covered whether you're a diehard fan searching for the latest gear or aiming to fundraise for your team. And here's the best part, you're in control. Choose the products and prices that work for you. Discover the ultimate apparel shopping and fundraising experience at shopteamwear.com. It's time to gear up, fundraise with ease, and make a statement together. Boost your team spirit, empower your community, shopteamwear.com, where passion meets fashion. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. Back at North Clarion High School, getting set up for a third quarter action here from uh, the North Country tonight. 22-19 North Clarion. Lexus, you did a fantastic job. You ran out right back. You're fast. I was a track athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little out of breath now, but I'm back. Well, we were waiting for you to do the uh, somersaults as you came back in the gym down the gym floor. but and Then I might be in the ER. <laughs> well, you disappointed Tyler. He's like, when's she going to do the somersaults? I'll do the somersaults when Tyler does the All somersaults. Right. Well, that ought to be fun. We'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to have a big challenge up here in the North Country sometime for that. All right. So that wraps up the Fun Bank Halftime Show. Uh, and I uh, do want to thank the First United National Bank for that. 22-19 is where we stand. For our third quarter sponsor is Penn State Dubois. We have a final um, Zockerl Motor score update from the Carn City game. 36-20 final. Carn City took their AAA D9 championship. Congratulations to the Lady Gremlins, a winner tonight. We'll be back in action coming up, too, in the state playoffs. Ball on the left side. Up top here, North Clarion with it. Steinman with six in the ballgame so far. Kicks it over to Homan. See Clarion coming out, playing their main defense again. It's been working for them, so why not stick with it? Hartle on the right, left side there. Down to the corner to Kastner. She's playing with three fouls. Driving, lost her footing, and she's going to travel. Worst kind of travels whenever you just yeah. take one too many steps or slip or something. Not much you can do there. No. So here's uh, Babington across the timeline. Here's Clarion trailing by three. They could tie here. They played well tonight. Here's Klein underneath. Klein shot, and it's just off the mark. Klein came back for it strong, but who's going to get it? It's Durish. Good hustle. Now up top, here's Babington. It was great work underneath by Klein, going back up for her rebound and tipping it out. Ball into Durish. Back up top, Gia. To the right side to Sophie, dumps it into Klein. 
Fine shot in the paint. Oh, it's just off the front of the rim. And it's just out of bounds. North Clarion will get it here. So North Clarion will work it up the court. They've got the three-point advantage. Still no scoring here in this uh, third quarter. Best to the left side. Steinman, Hartle. Hartle driving, puts up the runner. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Babington. It was a great look by Hartle to get up there and put the shot up. Ball into the paint, kick to the left side. Alston driving baseline. Alston shot good. Alston, nice job. Eight in the game for her. First points of the second half, too. Yeah. Great way for Clarion to start again, getting on the board first. And it brings Clarion back within one. Of course, driving into the lane. Homan shot on the baseline by Best. She sure is the best right there when she nails that one. First points for Best. 24-21, North Clarion leading. Winner of this one gets Auto or ECC, and we're going to have Best kind of, it's one of those fouls, she kind of was riding on the side there of Alston. Well, that's smart of Alston to take the baseline approach because typically you can draw the foul that way. Right into Alston, fouled, shot doesn't go, but Alston up to the line to shoot a couple. I'll tell you, Alston's been having a heck of a game. Alston has looked good in this one. Second foul rung up on Steinman. Shots on the way and good by Alston. Alston looking for her second shot. Again, Northern Pennsylvania Regional College, our free throw sponsor. Shots on the way at the front of the rim, no good. It's the first missed free throw by either team tonight. I'd say both teams are still doing great from the foul line. Homan to Hartle, just off of Hartle's fingertips, saved it. Kastner, Homan now. Homan. And lost the ball, tried to pass it off. That defense underneath, you saw yeah. Alston and another girl come in together to close off the line. That was great. Coming to the left side. Um, Alston into the paint to Klein. Fight for it. The ball's high. Who's going to get it? Klein's going to win it. Sengia kicks it out to Sophie. Three-pointer on the way. Off the front of the rim, no good. Now a race. Here's Hartle. Hartle racing. Hartle from behind has it knocked away by Alston. Good hustle. Nonetheless, Alston came back to knock it away. That's big. Two-point lead here for North Clarion. 4.57 to go here in the third. Penn State Dubois third. Homan. I'm going to get a timeout taken by North Clarion here. 30 second timeout is what they're going to call for. We'll keep it. And want to thank some other sponsors the Eric Schick Insurance Agency in New Bethlehem, um, Donna Oberlander, state rep of the 63rd Legislative District, New Bethlehem Moose, number 366. Clarion Rehabilitation Services, Muncie Law LLC of Clarion, Best Wealth Management, Farmers Mutual Fire Insurance Company of Marble, Pennsylvania, and Clarion Nursing Rehabilitation Center, Country Springs Personal Care in Sligo. Have a variety of different businesses with yeah. the sponsorship. It's great. Yeah, you can still hop on too if you'd like to join us. We got a lot of basketball coming your way over the next couple of weeks. And I know we have plans for Super Saturday. We're going to be busy on that day as well. And we won't complain if anybody wants to provide us with a nice home-cooked dinner on That's Super right. Saturday. <laughs> That's right. You can bring it right up to the tipping. Ball comes in to Steinman. Here's Hartle. Ball into the paint. Homan's able to get it right back from Babington in a drive to the hoop, and the foul's going to be called. And Homan's going to go to the line here to shoot two. See if she can keep up her perfect free throw streak. Foul was on Gia Babington, so 15, fouling 15. And she does. She does. We should have some kind of an award. If you shoot that many, you're 100%, like more than five. 
Shot on the way, that one good too. Like nine, she's nine and nine right yep. now. And those will be her first points of the half. Four point lead now for North Clarion. Be their biggest of the ball game. Alston, back up to Gia. Gia to Alston, Alston driving. Around the defense, puts up that shot, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Kastner. See North Clarion taking it slow right now up the court. No need to rush things. Hoban looks for that pick, kicks it to the right side. Hartle's going to fire the three. Rattles the cage, but it doesn't go. And the ball tipped out of bounds, and it goes to Clarion. Ball was tipped out of bounds by NC. and It's a great look from the perimeter right there. Actually, right there, we should have had that media timeout. There was under four minutes, but we'll get it on the next dead ball, I'm sure. Babington over to Alston. Back up to Gia Babington. Sophie. Lost it. Going to pick that ball back up. Kicks it to Alston. Alston on the baseline. It's going to be blocked down there. Steinman was down there. Best was down there, too. It was a strong take just into the defenders that can definitely stop that. Here's Homan into the lane. Homan puts up the shot. No good. Ball tip, tip back into the hands of Durish. North Clarion's 2 3 is really pushing Clarion's offense out. I think it's helping them a lot. Gia Babington holds. Finds Sophie. In decline at the free throw line. Back out to Babington, three-pointer by Sophie Babington. Doesn't go. Put back, though, foul's going to be called, and that's Durish inside playing tough. Got the rebound. Should go up to the line. Should be. And, and we have the media timeout, 2.51 to go here in the third. 26-22 is our score. North Clarion leads. We'll break. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, District 9 playoffs right here of the EYT Media Network. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? My name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Right back to action we go. See the Hartles over there enjoying the ball game tonight. And at the line is Durish to shoot a couple. She's got four in the ball game. Four point lead. For North Clarion, but Durish is going to dig into that with She's that still free throw. Hundred percent from the line, yeah. still. Lauer checking in here for Gia Babington. Shot by Durish on the way. That's good too. Durish perfect from the free throw line. Only had one miss. Can't complain about that at all. No. Two-point ball game here with 2.43 to go in the uh, third. Steinman on the left side. Steinman up top to Best. Best working the ball. Hands it off here to Homan. Pull it back out and reset a little bit. Homan's going to fire the three-pointer, and Homan's going to nail the three-pointer. That was a deep three. 29-24, five-point lead here for North Clarion. Alston, lost the ball, got the dribble back, kicks it over to Babington. Crowd's starting to get fired up a little bit. 2.06 to go here in the third. Alston up top. To Lauer on the right side, down to the corner. Dumped into Klein. Klein makes that move, shot Klein. 
It's off the back of the rim, and the ball goes out of bounds, and it goes to North Clarion. Klein has it. She's just not getting it to sink like she did in that first half. That first half was really strong yeah, for her. She needs to just keep trying. And I feel like once she makes that first one, it'll all click again. Yeah. Be back. Bit at 38. Ball down to the corner. Best to Hartle. Now to Homan. Homan. Right side, Hartle. Underneath uh, Steinman. And the shot by Steinman's off the mark. And the ball almost gets away from Babington, but gets it right back. Here comes Clarion. Here's Lauer. Lauer tipped out of bounds. Stays Clarion ball here with a minute two. She had the right idea. It almost looked like she was ready to take it into the key, but just pulled up a little too early. Alston will take it out of bounds. Here's Alston driving. We're going to have a foul here. See if it's on Steinman. That's her third. And it is on Steinman. Alston's doing a great job, job too, splitting that top of the 2-3 mm -hmm. and making them work. And they've been drawing those fouls. Down to 52 seconds. Here's Sophie Babington into Klein. Klein across the middle of the lane. And the foul's going to be called a hold from behind. I think they're going to get Hastings. I should send her to, line, to the line. And it will. So Klein's going to go to the line here. Her first opportunity from the free throw line. And that's Hastings' first foul on the night. Fine shot good. I'll tell you what, these girls have worked on this, these free throws. Cause you have to wonder if Coach has kind of ingrained that in them, especially in the so. playoff time. Because in the K-Sacks, they weren't really on. Mm -mm. Well, that's good, too. Three-point ball game. Here's Homan across the timeline. 44 seconds. Homan driving. Dumps it off to Steinman. Steinman's fouled. And she'll go to the line for that old time three-point play. She just takes it up strong, man. She gets it underneath and just puts it right up. <laughs> Steinman shots on the way, and it is no good. Rebound by Klein. Babington over to Alston. Back up top to Sophie Babington. Left side. Lauer, she's going to fire the three-pointer. Lauer's going to nail the three-pointer. That's her second three of the game. Gets her at six points right now. And importantly, it makes it a two-point ball Absolutely. game Absolutely. 18 seconds. We'll see what North Clarion can do. North Clarion working it to the right side, and we're going to get the block foul here called. That's going to be on Alston. If you're Clarion, you're just happy right now that it doesn't send her to the line. Yes, and just two fouls on Alston right now. Down to eight seconds. We'll see if North Clarion can get a shot off. Six seconds. Holman puts up that shot. Holman nails it. I believe that was just a two-pointer. Holman shot good. 33-29 is where we stand after three. We go to quarter number four. It's girls' single-A playoff action. Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com.
All right, right to action we go. Clarion with that basketball as we start this Dubrook fourth quarter. It's a four-point ball game, but North Clarion with the lead. Ball into the paint, knocked away by Steinman. She's someone you can't pass over or through. She'll just knock it down right away. Hardo gets the offense rolling here. Ball to the left side. And the travel is going to be called on Hastings. So that turnover gives Clarion an opportunity to cut into this, make it a one-possession ball game. And that's what you really want to do. Clarion came out in the first quarter and third quarter scoring right away. So if they can start the fourth quarter with the first points, hopefully it will help them out. It's been nip and tuck the whole way. No one's really got further ahead than about five. Here's Gia Babington. Bounce pass up top to the right side and decline. And you're going to get Hastings from behind again. Clarion's doing a great job, too, of drawing those fouls yep. underneath, getting in decline. And I'd keep going right to Klein here. Absolutely. Kastner will check in for Hastings. Ball right in. And we're going to get a land pro possession arrow held ball. And it will go to North Clarion this time on that inbound. Hey, while we have a chance to speak to Land Pro, I want to say hello to Nico out there, Nico Cosma. Hopefully everything's going well and he's healing well. And look forward to getting the back one of these cameras here soon. See Clarion coming out with that pressure defense, making North Clarion work to get it over the half. Did a nice job there. And the ball handed off is home and home and spins around. Homan up top. Homan in the lane. Homan puts up that shot. No good. And the ball goes to Clarion. It's off of Steinman. Oh, the fish is going to correct himself. I was wondering because the Clarion player was in front. So it will be North Clarion ball. Correctable error. Ball comes in to Steinman. Ball down to the corner to best. Hartle. Hartle into the lane. Bounce pass. Oh, had the right that idea. That was such a best. good look from Hartle. <laughs> but best just wasn't quite there yet. So a four-point lead continues. 6.44 to go here in the ball game. It's a Dubrook fourth quarter. Still no scoring here in this quarter so far. It's a great defensive game right now by both teams. Klein kicks it back out. It's going to toss that ball. Keeps it alive. A little help from the ref yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> the ref is part of the court. Can't yep. be mad about it. And Babington shot no good. Ball tipped out of bounds, and it goes to North Clarion. Yeah, people don't, you know, a lot of times you don't realize. Refs is part of the court. If Absolutely. it hits them, you can use them. They have to be there. They can't necessarily jump out of the way. That's right. Here's Homan. Underneath. Wide open is best in the shot, though. No good. Ball tipped out back to Homan. Here's Homan. Spinning in the paint. Block wow, by look at Klein. Klein. Here comes Alston on the other end, and Alston puts up the shot good, and Clarion's down by two. That was a great answer by Alston. Ball in stolen by Alston. Alston on the baseline. And Babington uh, had the steal. Alston and Alston put the, shot, the up. shot Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. North Clarion gets it back here, 554. Homan driving, and Homan. Dump that pass off. Best. And a travel is going to be called on Best. This is some great defense right now by Clarion. You're seeing some contact there, but that contact is going to be, that's going to be even. That's a, there's it's, not going to be a foul it's call. It's your running, jumping contact yes. that you just can't necessarily stop. So we have a full timeout. We'll break 548 to go here on the 433-31 North Clarion. You're watching Laurel Lake Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Looking for a new Bobcat tractor? Northeastern Equipment Sales and Rentals has inventory on the lot, ready to be loaded up so you can get to work on tough jobs. Check out Bobcat of Clarion at 1214 East Main Street in Clarion.
can afford a gorgeous custom designed hardwood kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. At kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. That's factorydirectkitchens.net. Right back to action here at uh, North Clarion High School. Clarion with the ball. They trail by two. They could either tie or take the lead here. 5.43 to go here in the ball game in this Dubrook fourth quarter. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20-year here on the call tonight. And a travel is going to be called on Jurich that time. Just had to reach ahead too far to try to get that ball. It was the right idea, just mm -hmm. a little too happy. There's only been two points scored in this quarter so far. Yep, Clarion's got him. And how about a steal on that inbound? And we're going to get a timeout. Good timeout Great that time. Out. Yep, Sam Heater with that timeout. So we're going to go 30-second timeout here. We'll hold. Tomorrow night we're back on the air. I'll have Dave Cadis with me tomorrow night as we'll be at Clarion Limestone High School as Ridgeway comes down to take on Clarion Limestone. That's so sad. I Dave Cadis? Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm down. We, love, we I'm, love Dave. I'm downgrading. You know, yeah. I have to admit. Well, yeah, but at least it's the voice that counts tomorrow, <laughs> not the looks. That's right. <laughs> So tomorrow night we'll have that from Clarion Limestone. Next week, you want to tune into a whole slate of games. that will be coming your way next week. We're going to bring as many as we can as the week goes on. That'll be the final week of the District 9 playoffs. The Super Saturday coming up on Saturday, March 2nd. Expect to have a long day up at the Tippin Gymnasium on that Saturday. It's always fun. Always a fun day. I like it. Ball dumped into Klein. Klein, turnaround shot on the baseline. That shot no good. Best fighting for the ball. Rips it away. Here's Hartle. Over to Best. Best shot from the left side. No good. Ball comes out and still on. And where's it going to go? It goes to North Clarion. I had lost track of who touched it last, so I'm happy the official was paying attention. <laughs> I hope they're paying attention down there. They are. Trying to figure out who touched it last. Here's Homan spinning. Homan puts up that shot. No good. Rebound pulled down by Durish. Good job by Durish. It was a great rebound. Larian with the only points here in the quarter. 2 0 oh, is the run. And a chance to tie it up here or take the lead. Ball into Klein. Klein shot. Doesn't go again. But Klein has it there. Just not going down. Steinman ripping it away. And a foul is going to be called. We'll see. I'm going to call that on Klein here. I think that's only her second. Yep. There, Clarion's coming up to put the pressure on North Clarion. Ball comes in. They're going to clear out. Let Homan bring it down the court with Gia Babington on her defensively. I tell you, Homan has the speed and the skills really to push that defender off of her. Five second closely guarded count. You don't see a lot of those either. Give Gia Babington a lot of Absolutely. credit there. She's keeping up the speed and keeping up with Homan, and it, it's great. Paying off, obviously. Sure is. And now Clarion again can tire, take the lead. Here's Babington into the lane, kicks it over to Sophie. Alston. Alston, shot from the elbow. It's on the way. It's off the mark. No good. Rebound by Durish, though. Durish back up top. It goes. Babington, three-pointer on the way. Shots off the side. And a rebound underneath by Durish. Clearing it all over the boards this time. Into Klein. Klein puts it up strong. Shot by Klein. No good. Ball tipped out, and it is Steinman with the rebound. But Clarion had three or four good opportunities. Absolutely. Just not falling. One of these times they'll get it. Here's Hartle, lost it into uh, Steinman. Foul's going to be called here on Klein on Steinman. It'll be Klein's third, checking in will be Lauer. Should be a media timeout. And we do have the media timeout. Now 3.44 to go here in the four, 33-31 the score. And we'll be back with more for you after this uh, timeout. Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops are here on the EYT Media Network. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. 
Here we go back to live action after our media timeout. 3.44 to go here in the fourth of Dubrook. Fourth quarter, a two-point lead for North Clarion. The She-Bulls will have the ball. Only two points scored in the quarter so That's far. That's it. It belongs to Clarion. Ball right into Hartle. Hartle to Hastings and back up top to Homan. Right side. Kastner finds Hartle. Hartle with the drive, puts up that shot. It was came off oddly, maybe blocked. Babington will get the rebound. Tipped in the air a little bit. Yep. Here comes Clarion again, another chance to take the lead. Here's Lauer. She's already got a couple of threes. Ball gets away from Babington, gets it right back down to the corner. There's Sophie. Into uh, Alston. Drive, Alston, good, we're tied. Tied at 33. Gives her 13 in the game, but those two may have been the, the biggest point so far. Just under three minutes. Hartle, and we're going to get the foul on Alston. Came up, she made that bump, and that's where you're going to get that call. It'll just be the third foul here against Clarion. That'll be her third, though. Still not too bad with 2.55 to go. Best back in here for Hastings for North Clarion. Smart on Clarion, too, to have Klein back in the key area to make sure nobody cuts back. Hartle works it across the line. Kessner up top to uh, Homan. And check up top. They're going to get Babington with that one. That'll be four here on Clarion. Tied at 33, 2.42 to go. There, yep, that is her fourth. So Babington with her fourth, that's Gia. Ball into Hartle, to Steinman. And she'll back to Hartle. Hoban, top of the key. 230, she's going to back off. Shot by Homan, banks it, doesn't go. Ball loose in the paint, picked up by Lauer. Some great defense by Clarion, too. So here comes Clarion. Now they can take a lead with 2.15 on a rolling clock here in quarter number four. Ball to the right side, Gia Babington. Down to Sophie, dumps it into Klein. Klein spins, shot, Klein, good by There Klein. she is. Back in the groove of things, gives her 10 in the game, and Clarion the lead. There they go, 35-33, Lady Cats. Here's Hartle, Kastner. Bounce pass into the hands of Homan. See the switch that on defense too, instead of Gia guarding her, it's Alston. Keep the fouls away from Gia. Ball to the right side. Kastner, underneath. And the ball passed off, picked back up by Kastner though. Steinman unable to hold on to, we're gonna get a foul here. I think they're gonna get Sophie Babington. That will put North Clarion at the line here. It's one of those challenging fouls, too. You're just following the mm -hmm. girls, following the ball, and you just get tied up. So Kastner will be at the line. Her first uh, shot at some points here tonight. Shot's no good. Kastner back there at the line. Boy, big free throws here for Kastner. North Clarion down by two. It's almost like you're saying that no pressure or anything. No, but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sings the second. It's kind of surprised North Clarion not pressuring here. They're going to let Clarion bring the ball down. Clarion leads by one, a minute 20. Here we go. 
And we'll have a full timeout taken by Coach Heater. We'll take a break, too. A minute 17 to go in the fourth. 35-34, Clarion leads. It's girls' single-A quarterfinal playoffs here in District 9. It's all here on the EYT Media Network. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Lutens Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. We are bringing college to rural Pennsylvania. We're helping people that didn't have a college option before. And the way we do that is through dedicated faculty and student services team and through technology so that people that didn't have that option before now have that option. All right, we have our timeout taken. Coach Heater talking over with his team. They lead by one here. They'll get to take the ball out of bounds. As of right now, Clarion does have five fouls, though, just one on the side of uh, North Clarion. So North Clarion is shooting each time they're fouled. Clarion's going to try to spread it out here. See North Clarion coming out on a man defense now. Yep. The ball loose. Handed off to Gia Babington. Now to Sophie. North Clarion's defense is really pushing them up. Foul's going to be called. And they're going to say Gia, ba or that is, excuse me, not Gia, that is going to be. On Homan. On Homan. We'll get a timeout taken here by North Clarion. It's full timeout. We'll break. 52 seconds to go here. 35 34. A lot of sponsors to get in. And you're watching Laurel Lie Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our retirement income evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SI. All right, here we go as a timeout taken this time by North Clarion as they talk things over. Clarion will come onto the court here. They lead by one. They've been running that spread offense, trying to get North Clarion to come up and foul, which and they've they did get one. Six to one right now, Clarion in the fourth quarter. Ball comes in. Babington hands it off to Alston. Alston is going to be fouled by Homan. You can see Coach uh, Homan saying he wants that foul. He wants to get them to the line. And Alston's kind of happy about that foul. She didn't yeah. have to do much. She just yeah. stood there and smiled. <laughs> <laughs> Ball comes in. Foul is called. That is on Hurdle. So one more before the line, 44.8 seconds. And if you're looking at Clarion's free throws, really any of them can yeah. go to the line right now. They've been good. Ball comes into Gia Babington, and she'll be fouled by Kastner. So that'll put Gia Babington to the line. Now both teams will be at the line. This will be Gia's first chance at some free throw points. Now the only difference this year is after five fouls, you're shooting two instead of the traditional one and one. And That'll be five on Kastner. Kastner with her fifth foul. Baumkratz is going to check in. But she had to do that. It's a good work, good hustle by Kastner all game, too, and fouling whenever it counted, too. So Gia Babington up there at the line with a couple of shots. Try to give Clarion a three-point advantage here. For Shalom on the way and good. 
Tell you what, these girls have been automatic tonight. And that gives Gia her first point in the game, mm -hmm. too. Second shot good. That loud crowd has nothing on her tonight. Another full time on taken, 37 34. Clarion leads North Clarion now, 43 seconds to go. We'll break. Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. At Penn West University, we're making college make sense again. With programs tied to in-demand jobs, we're breaking down barriers and giving you more choices. We're making college valuable again for people just like you. Learn more at pennwest.edu. part of an FQHC is that I grew up with two parents that were both nurses and I don't have the ability <laughs> to be a nurse. I'm not clinical nor should I be clinical. So it's really special to me to get to work behind the scenes. All right, we come right back to action. As North Clarion will have the ball, they trail by three here as time. Starting to get uh, right down there, 43 seconds. Absolutely. See Clarion coming up to put some pressure on. Oh, they're, they're hustling back. They yeah. turned. <laughs> so here we go, three-point lead for Clarion. Hardall up top to Homan. Homan. Looks like Clarion's sitting in a 3-2. Hardall three-pointer, no good. Ball careens off, rebounded underneath there by Alston. 25 seconds, Clarion with a three-point lead. Foul's going to be called here on Hartle. Big for Clarion to grab that rebound. You know, a couple people pointing that it hit the ropes above, but nope. If it hit the ropes above, that would be a dead ball, and it would be Clarion's ball anyway. Right. So 22 seconds up to the line is uh, Sophie Babington. Looking for her first points. And that's good. This is huge for Clarion, these foul shots, you know. My favorite part of the game, those foul shots in a close game. Shots on the way again. Good. Five-point lead for Clary. Here's uh, Homan. 17 seconds. Hartle, three-pointer on the way. Rattles the cage, doesn't go. Rebound by Gia Babington. Babington across the timeline. She's going to be fouled in 10 seconds. Babington to the line. Clary in with a five-point lead at this point. Whatever happens on these free throws really won't matter. If you're Clarion, you just back off, mm -hmm. let North Clarion go down. You don't have to touch the ball again if you don't want to. Absolutely. Shot is good. Wow, the free throws tonight have been absolutely spectacular. You see the smiles on all Clarion girls' faces. Like, obviously, the game's not over, but they're excited right now. Next shot on the way. In and out, no good. Ten seconds. Here's Hartle. Homan. Homan shot on the way. Banks it home does Homan. 1.6 seconds on the clock. It is a three-point ball game. So they're going to say two whole seconds. Those are Homan's first points in the quarter. Yeah. We're going to hold right here. This should be interesting. It's a full timeout. We're just going to hold right here. Because they're going to talk it over here. They want to see what time was on that clock. And you're you know, if say you're North what, Clarion, you're going to assume I'm gonna, you're going to come out and pressure. Well, and you want to foul as soon as the ball comes Absolutely. in. Wow. So the three-point game and home and up top bank that one home. You don't see that often on no. a three-pointer. But it worked. Winner of this one will get the winner of the Otto Eldred Elk County Catholic game. That'll be... Uh, the game will be played next Wednesday. It'll be on the 28th. It's hard to believe February is like over. Just about over. Yeah. It's exciting. Getting into spring, track yeah, season for myself. Yeah, it's, things are all stay busy. That's the big thing. Absolutely. I know we do have some plans. We were talking uh, possibility. We might be doing a big track meet too. And I know there's a real big one they're going to do down at Red Bank. Red Bank invite. And it, uh, they're going to have some other special things with it. It's going to be huge. So Best um, best meet of the year in my opinion. Yep. Better than districts, better than states. So stay locked on to EYT. we got some nice things coming to you 
here in the spring. We'll have baseball and some softball too. If you're clear, you just want to get it in and hold it right now. Ball comes in. Alston. Hand check is called with two tenths of a second. That's your ball game right there. Absolutely. So Alston will go to the line. Alston will happily go to the line. You're darn tootin'. <laughs> There it'll clear away. So the Lady Bobcats are going to move on here in the District 9 playoffs. Here's Alston. Yeah, that shot no good off the front of the rim. You see that little smirk and shrug from her. She's like, sorry. The cheater's like, oh, you got to run a practice tomorrow. You missed. <laughs> Looking shot no oh. good, and that's it. How about that? Look at the oh. celebration from Clarion. Exciting. Coach 40. Heater, Coach Constantino. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting no, you. <laughs> 40 to 37 is the final. We'll take a timeout. We've got to total things up. We'll come back. It is the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show on the way, and you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave. You've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to T.O. Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. Back at uh, North Clarion High School in the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. A big win for Clarion over North Clarion tonight, 40-37. to Clarion led early, 13-9. North Clarion led at the half by 3, 22-19. They also held a four-point lead at the end of the third, but Clarion battles back, and they get a win here to move on tonight in uh, this uh, ball game. Time to take a look at those uh, Red Bank Chevrolet stats. Boy, free throw shooting was really great tonight, but how do they all stack up? Yeah, we'll start with North Clarion. Um, a total of 37 points, 24 coming from Lily Homan, one coming from Kastner, two from Hartle, eight from Steinman, and two from Best. From the foul line, you know, 10 to 12, 83%. Great foul game from them, and they were overall played a great game as well. Um, as far as Clarion goes, you had 10 from Klein, two from Sophia Babington, three from Gia Babington, six from Durish, six from Lauer, and, of course, um, 13 from your player of the game, Alston. And from the free throw line, 16 to 20, 80%. You know, both teams had a great free throw shooting game, if that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, really, and, it, and it's great. And you can see how that really played a role in the ball game tonight, keeping both teams right in it. Because if they were not shooting the way they were, you know, you were not, you know, you were not going to be able to hang in this one. Absolutely. And both Babington girls, you know, five points total from the foul line from them at the, near the end of the game really helped. Yep. Certainly did. And uh, time now for our Hager Paving player of the ball game tonight. Um, Lexis and I were thumb wrestling. She won. <laughs> I always win. Um, we chose, of course, Taylor Alston from Clarion. You know, offensive and defensive sides of the game. She just was everywhere. She played a fantastic game. She sure did. She was all over and uh, uh, did a great job from the free throw line, underneath the hoop, all over the place. Absolutely. Defensively, everything. Good job for her. So that uh, 
is our Hager Paving Player of the Game. Oh, great game tonight. Tomorrow night I got Cadis, but well, I'll see. I'm, I know next week he'll be back in the uh, – uh, back with us. There's a lot of games next week. So. I'll push my way there one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> so be ready there, Lexus. All right, that's going to wrap things up for the Clarion County Community Bank Post Game Show here from North Clarion. And again, the final score, Clarion a winner tonight, 40-37 to over North Clarion to move on to the playoffs. They'll take on either Elk County Catholic or Otto Eldred. Whoever wins tonight, that'll be next Wednesday. And for uh, Tyler Oaks over on the camera, Brett uh, English over here on the computer doing a fantastic job. For my partner, Lexus 20 or this is Mike Kalinowski bidding you a pleasant good night here from North Clarion. You've been watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, part of District 9 playoffs, and it's all here on the EYT Media Network. We'll see you again tomorrow night.